Hello everybody, welcome to another movie review. This time we are reviewing Come Back to the Five and Dime, Jimmy Dean, Jimmy Dean, 1982. So as you can see to the right, we have the poster here with Jimmy Dean's face looking a little solemn. We reviewed this movie uh, recently, saw it this July and in 2018. Gave this movie a rating of two. Come back to the five and dime, Jimmy Dean, Jimmy Dean. is a ridiculously long title for a film. It was mentioned in a book by Don Graham called Giant, which proved the behind-the-scenes story of how the eponymous p epic picture was made. Biographies of the three main characters, most especially James Dean. Within the year of 1955, after James Dean died in an automobile crash, there were over 4 million members, the vast majority of them being teenage girls, teenager girls, enrolled in various clubs in the memory of him, and they were called Deaners. It wouldn't take too long for James Dean to be transformed into an iconic icon due to the strength of his acting in only three films, Rebel Without a Cause, East of Eden, and Giant, he quickly became the symbol of beatnik generation that's perfectly described in Jack Kerouac's On the Road book. Therefore, it is not difficult to understand why there exists a play that revolves around the concept of a James Dean club that was founded and run by local females. In all honesty, Ed Graziak's play did, didn't do that well in theaters, having received bad critical notices and had a very short run overall. Unfortunately, Robert Altman ignored the facts by deciding to film Come Back into the Five and Dime, Jimmy Dean, Jimmy Dean, that was meant to stay within the confines of the stage. The movie is abysmally bad and full of loony hens who didn't know the meaning of friendship or the art of conversation. They just want to turn into bitches and backstab each other with mean-spirited words and made-up stories. It's hard to follow and bear the non-sequential dialogue and stagey acting. However, that's the point of it as explained by playwright. The play can only be described as a result of my own observations and frustrations with progress that ignores a past, the lack of personalization and pride, and the recurring need for people to build facades to conceal the truths of their lives. It is that the facade that makes abnormal people seem normal and the sad people seem happy. Of the cast, I thought the selection of Karen Black as the transvestite character was dead on because she had always been an odd-looking woman with crossed buggy eyes. On the other hand, I didn't know that Kathy Bates' career went far that far back. Regardless, the failure of the film didn't stop Robert Altman from his personal quest of directing filmed adaptations of play, stage plays as he would go on to make a string of them throughout the 80s, causing him to drop out of Hollywood's pantheon, pantheon of the great directors. All in all, I can imagine James Dean, while seeing Come Back to the Five and Dime, Jimmy Dean, Jimmy Dean, oddly laughing and going, what the fuck is the bullshit? Thank you so much for watching and listening to my review. Please come back for more reviews. Thank you.